Well, hey y'all, and welcome back to the Oklahoma Girls Kitchen. Well, you know, it's been a while since I've seen y'all. I don't know what you've been up to, but we have been busy, busy around here with grandkids and yard work and getting ready for the fall. I'm in the mood for fall baking, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a delicious pumpkin bread. It was my mama's recipe, and it's a no-fail. You're gonna love it. So, I've got my little granddaughter, Dallas, here with me today. She's the one that is filming this, and she has been such a help. We have made a rice cake. We are gonna put on some stew for tomorrow, and right now we're gonna make some pumpkin bread. So, let's get started on okay, it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the recipe before we get started on it. That way it makes it easier for you and easier for me in case I don't give you the amount of the ingredients as I'm putting it in. So it calls for one and two thirds cup of flour. I'm gonna use the self-rising flour today. Uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, two large eggs, one cup of canned pumpkin, a half a cup of canola oil, a half a cup of water, and a half a cup of chopped walnuts is optional or any kind of nuts you might want in it. And a half a cup of raisins is also optional. And a lot of people don't like anything in it. I'm making mine today without either one of those, just plain old pumpkin bread. But this is one of the best pumpkin bread recipes you'll ever get. So let's go ahead and start. So let's go ahead and start with our one cup of canned pumpkin. And you know, there's all different kinds of, uh, our brands of pumpkin. I just got the inexpensive brand today. Normally I buy Libby's, but hey, you know what? As long as it's one cup of canned pumpkin, that's all you want. Now we don't want pumpkin pie filling. We want canned pumpkin. So make sure that's what you get or it won't turn out. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with our spices. We're gonna put in our nutmeg, our cloves, and our uh, cinnamon. I don't think I gave that to y'all a while ago, so that is one teaspoon of cinnamon also. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this around a little bit. I always put my wet ingredients in first and then I add my dry ingredient last, which is gonna be your flour. So next I'm gonna put in my two eggs. And I am gonna go ahead and start mixing this together with the mixer and go ahead and get this incorporated really good. Okay, so now we're gonna put our oil in, which is a half a cup of our canola oil. And we're gonna go ahead and mix it. So I went ahead and put in our granulated sugar, and we're gonna go ahead and get that in there and give it a good mix. So this is my little secret trick. It's just a little dash of vanilla. And you know, this stuff smells so good. I'm telling you, I feel like I could, when I smell it, that I could just drink it. There's one and our two thirds. Okay, so our last ingredient, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I about forgot it. I kept wondering why this looks so thick, but I just about forgot to add it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in our nine by five um, loaf pan, and we're gonna pop it in the oven for about 60, 65 minutes, about an hour and five minutes, and you can check it you know, with a toothpick and see if it's done. But um, I would say a good hour, hour and five minutes is about what it's gonna take. 
I'm gonna get all this deliciousness in this pan. And I just kind of shake mine out a little bit. And we're gonna put that in the oven and we are gonna have some good, good pumpkin bread. Well, guess what, y'all? The time has come to taste this wonderful pumpkin bread. And I can't wait. You know, I was just looking at how moist it is when I cut into it for the first slice. And usually, you know how hard that first slice is to come out? Well, my little granddaughter got it out on the first one. So here's to Dallas. But here you go, and I can't wait to try it. This is so good. So, so good. Mmm. I think this, with my cup of coffee, is just the end to a perfect day. Till I see you guys next week, and I hope you come back into my kitchen, I wish you a teaspoon of love and a heap of happiness. Bye guys from the Oklahoma Girls Kitchen.